Okay, today's lesson is about making changes. Okay, those that are willing to pay the price, put in the time, and make some changes are going to reap the benefits. Okay, it's as simple as that. I know because I have students that if they can make a small change with their grip sometimes, it can make a huge difference in their consistency and their confidence. As an example, let's say I have one student that likes to hold an Eastern forehand grip. Okay, Eastern forehand, that's where you take the index knuckle and the heel pad and you put it on bevel number three. Remember the bevels, one's on top, two's on the side, two's that little bevel there, and three is on the side. So when you put the index knuckle and the heel pad on number three, that's an eastern grip. Now the problem with an eastern grip, if you do not push the palm of your hand down like this, see, the racket's going to tend to be straight up. And if you don't push your palm down like that, and the palm of your hand is down at the low point of the backswing, okay, if you don't have it like this, let's say you have the palm facing the camera. As you swing up, the racket's going to naturally be laid back slightly. And the problem my student has is she's always trying to do this at contact and she finishes low. Now, the reason is because unconsciously she knows that the racket is open and she has to close it at contact. And she comes down like this. Now, if she could change the grip, that's the key. Change the grip by going from an Eastern to a semi-western. So you don't even have to go all the way to a semi-western. You could go in between and still do well. So you turn the hand this way, and now my index knuckle and the heel pad is on that ridge, on this ridge here, or on this flat surface number four. Okay, so I've turned it more this way. And what happens with semi-western, now you're all set. The racket is automatically closed. And here's the thing. The racket is already closed. So now for her, for my student, as she swings up, the racket's going to be vertical. She doesn't have to do this now. She doesn't have to come over and go and finish low. So the racket's going to keep going up and through and come up over the shoulder. So <clears throat> over time, if she practices with that grip, if she makes sure she has the semi-western and finishes high, that's the key. She's gonna have to finish like this every time. The racket's gotta drive through and up. It's got to be going up. The biggest mistake she's making right now is this. She's coming down because the racket face is coming into the contact area open because she's got that eastern grip and the palm of the hand is not pushed down. So remember that if you want to make great changes in your game, pick one of your weaknesses. Her weakness is, happens to be that when she wants to hit the ball hard, she wants to hit it, you know, be aggressive, she can't keep it in because she doesn't, she doesn't have quite the right grip and she's not brushing up as she hits. So one change, if you can make one change to your game, you are going to benefit off the charts. All right. Please give this video a like, a thumbs up, and uh, please subscribe to the channel if it's uh, first time here. All the best to your tennis success. 
Take care.